Here is something that Republicans and Democrats, black people and white people, men and women can all agree on. We are tired of trafficking. We are tired of people being trafficked, right? We're sick of that. So anyone who, who even helps a trafficker, we should all be able to rally our attention around, right? We should all go after, correct? Well, you're in luck because have I got the story for you. In Johnson City, in Tennessee, you have people who were preying on women, people who were serial predators, and the Johnson City Police Department was helping this person. That's what a federal lawsuit right now is alleging. So there's evidence, there's victims who have said they went to the Johnson City Police Department and they all told them, hey, this guy's a predator. Hey, this guy assaulted me. Hey, this guy was following me. Hey, this guy won't stop calling me. This guy won't stop emailing me, texting me, coming to my home near my children. And they did nothing. They intentionally moved slow to protect this man because guess what? This guy, he had money. He paid off the cops. He paid off the cops and the cops ignored what this guy was doing. And we're talking about Sean Williams in Tennessee. Sean Williams is allegedly a very, very wealthy man. He has a race car collection. He has all kinds of fancy homes, all kinds of real estate. I mean, he has all kind of, kinds of portfolios. And apparently, multiple police officers in Johnson City and beyond allegedly, across Tennessee, took large sums of money from this accused predator, Sean Williams, and, and he got protection. He got the, you know, he got the hookup, you know, as my folks might call it, the hookup. All he had to do was pay a little bit of money, just a little bit of cash, and he could hide his crimes. Think about it, that's, that's almost like a, like a move that you can do in Grand Theft Auto, right? Just pay a little bit of money and you can get the one stars off you. Hmm? I mean, at least you can mod it. You know, you, you can mod the game to do that. Wow. So while you're paying your tax dollars, your hard-earned money, you're going to work slaving away every day. You're paying your tax dollars so that these officers can have federal funds. They can get federal gear, such as military gear. They can get all this training, right? They can go off to, you know, Israel, get be, 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 be sent to Israel to go train, you know, many, many law enforcement officers in this country are train, training in Israel. Many, many people don't know that. But they get all this training, right? All this money. And for what? They're still going to protect these people? And, 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 and we sit back and we're wondering, how do people get trafficked? You're wondering, how does it happen down the U.S.-Mexico border? How is it happening in New York and California? How? Are you, are you really being serious right now? Are you going to look, look at the screen? Look at my face right now. Are you being serious and wondering how is it happening? It's the police. And the reason why it's been so difficult for these victims to get justice in, in this case with Sean Williams is because of the police. This man paid off, allegedly, so many police officers. Again, this is all alleged, but again, there's just too much smoke here to be no fire, right? This man, this man paid off so many police officers, allegedly, allegedly, that they were slow to process the case. They, 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 they were in no rush to arrest him. They were in no rush to search the premises. They were in no rush to get a DNA sample. They were in no rush to do anything. They, they, they were in some cases, demonizing the victims. And now, I, I currently do what I do because of a sheriff in South Carolina named Leon Lott, who, who became 2021 Sheriff of the Year, Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott. This man's a registered Democrat. This is one of the biggest reasons why I can't get any help from the freaking South Carolina Democrats. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, you, you, freaking Jim, Jim freaking, 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 freaking Clyburn. Congressman Clyburn won't do anything with Leon Lott because Leon Lott is a, registered, is a freaking registered Democrat. This man, Lott, has been covering up what's been happening to high school girls. And myself, when I was a, when, when, when I was a child, the same thing happened to me. Right? So when I grew up and I see the same thing ha happening to high school girls, well then I become this. And people still to this day doubt what I'm saying even though you see cases like this in other states. I keep trying to tell y'all, 
This is a nationwide problem. It's not just South Carolina. It's not just Tennessee. It's not just New York. It's not just California. It ain't just Florida. It ain't just Texas. Because let me let me give you a prime example. In this case, in Johnson City, in Tennessee, these women have been telling the police since November 2019. And they move slow intentionally. Intentionally. Why? Because he's wealthy and he's got the complexion for the protection, man. And after all the media reports, after all the exposés, after all the social media content creators who kept going after this guy, he was finally arrested back in last April, right? But on unrelated charges. And then in September of last year, he was indicted on the actual charges. This man was doing things to people who was under the age of 18. So it wasn't just women he was targeting. It was kids. These police officers knew that. And they still did nothing. These police officers knew that. And they still did nothing. I want you to take that in for a second. This whole video's purpose is for educational and news reporting purposes. I'm bringing the news to you so that you can know these things are happening in your country. You are paying taxes to these people. Your money is going to these people's wallets, these people's pensions, their gear, their equipment. You're paying for these people's livelihoods and yet they do stuff like this. If you won't be outraged for the women, will you at least be outraged for the children? Hmm? I mean, Democrats and Republicans always sell us, you know, bills and laws and legislation based on think of the children. Well, I'm thinking of the children in this case, too. Hmm? Everyone involved from the police, the chief, I don't care if it's the janitor, fired and criminally prosecuted for, for sitting there and doing nothing. I want the dispatchers brought up on charges because those women and those children were calling the dispatch they all knew all of them don't you tell me a victim who's been victimized doesn't try to repeat the same story to anyone who will hear because that's what i do okay so i know what they were probably doing they were trying to find justice and somebody who would listen and yet these dispatchers the police the chief everyone in that in that whole department was ignoring those victims they all deserve to be brought up on federal charges. Every last one. That whole department needs to be shut down and thrown away. If you can't help victims with a man who's a serial predator, who's apparently targeting kids too, you are not a police department. You are a criminal organization at that point. Which, let's be honest, most police departments are just criminal organizations. We just glorify them for some reason. And so let this whole tale be a lesson to all the people who support police officers. It's not about the good cops in your area. It's not about that. It's about the ones everywhere else. In the third most populated country on planet Earth.